Welcome to the session. In this video, we are going to see how to deploy a React.js application to Azure App Service using Azure DevOps. As our initial step, we will create a React application in our local system. Next, push our code to Azure repo. Then, create an Azure build pipeline for building the React.js application. Our second last step is to create an app service in Azure to deploy our application. And as the final step, create an Azure release pipeline for releasing the React.js application to Azure. So now, let's create the React application. Open the terminal and navigate to the directory where we want to create our React application. Type npx create hyphen react hyphen app and then your project name. And our basic React application is ready in the current directory. Get inside the folder and run the command npm start. This will open the browser on localhost port 3000. And, as you can see, our React app is up and running. Now back to our terminal and press Ctrl C to stop the server. Our next move is to create the build pipeline in Azure DevOps. For that, first, log in to dev.azure.com. Azure DevOps provides integrated features such as Scrum Board, Build and Release Pipelines, and many more. Explore those features as well, which makes your work plans really simple. So, for the time being, we are going with the pipelines. Initially, we create a new project. Let's name it React App. And then, push our local code to the Azure repo. As we have already created the source code in our local system, let's go with the second option, which will push an existing repository using the command line. First of all, ensure that you are inside the project folder. Then, copy all the commands and directly paste it in the console and hit enter. Consequently, this will push all the local source code to the remote Azure repo. Our next move is to create the build pipeline where we build our React.js code and push the output to the build artifacts. For now, we can go with Classic Editor where our work will be done with a little bit of code. By default, go for the repository as React App. As we have only one repository in this project, hence the React App loaded. Make the branch as master. Currently, we don't have any other branch. Click the Continue button. Select the empty job, as we don't have any built-in template for React.js. We can use Windows or Ubuntu as the agent. For now, let's set it as Windows. Now we can add agent jobs to build and push the files to artifacts. Click on the plus icon. Search for NPM. Just add NPM task to our build pipeline. You can see the npm install command over here. This will internally run the command and install all the npm modules which are mentioned in our package.json. As our current project is in the root folder, we don't have to choose any separate working folder. But we can pick one to our root folder of the project where the package.json file is present if necessary. Again, let's add one more node task to the build pipeline. At this moment, we need to run the npm run build. we can change the task name to npm build. To run npm build, choose command as custom, and in command text box, we can add run build command. Our next step is to keep the build file to the build artifacts. Therefore, when we do the release, we can use the same file to release it to multiple stages. Search for publish build artifacts and add it to our build pipeline. Change the path to publish field value to build. That's it. Now you can build and run. So that we can see the artifacts. Here we will be able to see the steps which are executing internally. Later if there is any error in the build because of wrong code or something, we can see the error details here.
Once the build is done, we can see one artifact file added over here. By clicking on the link, we will be able to view or download the artifact files locally. At this point, we have to activate the trigger, which allows us to start our build once a commit happens to this branch. That's it. Our build pipeline is set. Before we move on to release pipeline, we have to set up our Azure Web App Service, where we are going to deploy our React.js application. Azure Web App is a cloud computing-based platform for hosting websites, created and operated by Microsoft. Log in to Azure and create a new Azure App Service from All Resources page. Click on the plus icon which will redirect you to the Create page. We need to choose a resource group. Resource groups are containers that holds related resources for an Azure solution. For this assignment, we will create a new resource group named React App. Now we need to provide a unique valid name for our Azure App Service. Let's try the name with Test My React. It's valid. Accordingly, we can access this site as testmyreact.azurewebsites.net. Select Runtime Stack as ASP.NET. Choose the App Service Plan. I am going to select my free service plan. Paid services are also available. Depending on the requirements, you can make a choice. For the moment, we can skip the Monitoring tab. Later on, in any of my future videos, I will explain the application insights in depth. Just leave Tags tab as it is. Now let's quickly review and create the resource. Click on the Create button. This will create the Web App Azure Pause service for us. Go to the resource where we can see the app service is running. Click on the URI which will open the website. Yes, that's our default web page provided by Azure. Once our release pipeline deploys our code here, this content will be replaced by our React.js page. Now let's move on to the Release Pipeline area. Create a new release pipeline. We can select Empty Job or Azure App Service Deployment. Let's go with Empty Job for now. Let's mention the stage name is Dev. Azure Release Pipeline allows us to deploy the same build to multiple stages. Now we can choose the artifacts from the build pipeline. So we can select the Azure repo as our source type because our artifacts, which we created, is in the Azure build pipeline. Select the build pipeline name which we created few minutes back and hit the Add button. Next step is to enable our continuous deployment trigger. So that, whenever there is a build successfully completed, our release pipeline will trigger automatically. Now we can configure our release pipeline. Let's add a new task to the pipeline. We can choose Azure Web App Task. This task will deploy our React.js code to the Azure Web App. We can choose the Azure subscription, where we created our Azure Web App resource. As I have already integrated the Azure with this DevOps, my Azure subscription is showing here. Else, we have to go click the Manage link and integrate the Azure to DevOps. Choose App Type as Web App on Windows. Now we can choose the Azure Web App name here. Select the Test My React, which we created in our Azure. Select our package or folder by clicking the three dots. Next, select the Drop folder which we created in our build pipeline. Also we are not going with the Deploy to Slot option as we have only one slot created in our Azure Web App. Let's save the release pipeline. Now, we can verify our build and the release pipelines are working fine by making some changes in our source code. I have removed the entire rendering code from app.js file and just kept it simply, Hello Azure. Now it's time to commit the changes. Next, we can push our changes to Azure repo. Back to the Azure build pipeline. Here, we can see the build is already triggered as we have made the changes in the Azure repo. And now the build process is in progress. Once the build process is completed, immediately, the release pipeline must be triggered. Let's have a look at the release pipeline. As expected, it is triggered. Deployment to Azure is in progress now.
Let's open the Azure Web App and go to our website. Wow! Our new page with message Hello Azure is here. Beautiful. It is as simple as that. We just modified our source code and did a check-in. That's it. The changes are then automatically deployed to Azure without any manual interventions. These type of CI-CD pipelines will be useful when you work on the Agile methodology. So, whenever there is a rework in the master branch, the changes are automatically deployed to the particular environment, and testing team will be able to start testing the code, instead of waiting for the developers to deploy, every time, they made some changes and push to the master branch. We can also trigger, this release on a particular time. For example, a release, can be set up to trigger, every day, at a specific time, say at 9 pm, and all those code alterations are, published to the environment. That's pretty cool. And yes, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you in next session with an exciting new topic.